Today, Apple has officially released its next iteration of macOS, macOS Mojave, and in this video, we're gonna go over some of the key features users can expect to see in the latest version of macOS. Apple says macOS Mojave's new additions are inspired by its most powerful users, but are designed for everyone. The first new major feature in macOS Mojave is a system-wide dark mode. Dark mode is designed to help you focus on your work by putting your content front and center while fading the toolbars and menus and other distractions into the background. It definitely gives your Mac a more modern look and feel, and using your Mac in darker environments with dark mode on is a lot easier on the eyes. To toggle dark mode on or off, simply head into the system preferences, and under the general pane, you'll find the dark mode option. Dynamic Desktop, which complements dark mode, brings a new look to your Mac with time-shifting desktops that are designed to match the hour of the day wherever you are. So for example, in the afternoon, the lighting in the wallpaper is at its peak brightness and the image of the Mojave Desert is lit up as it would be if you visited it in the daytime with well-lit sand dunes and a bright blue sky. At night, the sky in the wallpaper shifts to a darker blue to reflect that it's now evening. The shift between daytime and nighttime happens gradually over the course of the day, so you'll see subtle changes each time you look at your Mac's desktop. To toggle on Dynamic Desktop, simply head into System Preferences, then go to Desktop and Screensaver, and then select one of the Dynamic Wallpaper options. Now in order to really enjoy Dynamic Desktop, you're going to want to tidy your desktop up a bit. macOS Mojave introduces a useful feature called Stacks that will definitely help. Stacks keeps your desktop clutter-free by automatically organizing your files into related groups. To enable Stacks, simply right-click on your desktop and then choose the Use Stacks option. Turning on Stacks will now automatically organize your files by file type. Some of the available Stacks include Documents, Images, PDF Documents, Spreadsheets, Other, and Screenshots. If you want to view all of the files that are contained within a stack, just click and it will expand the stack and put a little arrow on the stack's name so that you know which stack you're viewing. Finder has become more powerful than ever in the latest version of macOS, with new features like quick actions and gallery view at the forefront. Gallery view gives you another way to scroll through big previews of your files in order to help identify what it is you're looking for faster and easier. This works especially well with images, certain documents, etc. Quick actions in the preview pane will also save time and boost productivity by allowing you to work on files right from within Finder. Now there's no need to open up an application for rotating images, creating PDFs, even trimming video and more. If you find yourself using quick actions a lot, you can even create your own custom quick action based on an automated workflow. Quick Look has also gained some new handy features. Now in macOS Mojave, not only does pressing the spacebar give you a nice big preview of the file, but you also have the power to perform actions specific to that kind of file that you're viewing. Marking up or signing a PDF, rotating or cropping an image, and trimming audio or video are features available right at your fingertips. An all new redesigned Mac App Store is also available in Mojave, and it is already a huge improvement over the previous iteration. The left side of the App Store is where you'll find your different tabs like Discover, Create, Work, Play, Develop, Categories, and Updates. When clicking on an application, you'll now see video previews, images, and reviews all front and center in this beautiful new UI. Like the iOS App Store, the rich editorial content is designed to help increase app discovery, which was definitely lacking in the prior version. macOS Mojave also adds a few other features that are worth mentioning, like a new screen capture interface that can be opened with a simple keyboard command of Shift-Command-5. The screen capture interface gives you quick options like capturing entire screens, capturing a selected window, and captured selected portions of the screen. You'll also see screen recording options such as record entire screen or record selected portions of the screen. There's even more options available like where to save the file, if you'd like to add a timer, and a few other miscellaneous options. Another useful feature is Continuity Camera, which allows you to use your iPhone to shoot or scan a nearby object or document, and it will automatically appear on your Mac. You can insert a photo right from your iPhone to a Pages document or scan a receipt and insert it directly into an email by simply selecting the Insert Photo option from the File menu. Finally, in the new version of macOS, Apple has started to port over some of its popular iOS apps into full-blown Mac apps. The apps were brought to Mac using iOS frameworks that have been adapted to macOS. 
Apple says that starting in late 2019, these additional frameworks will be available for developers to bring their own iOS apps to Mac OS. So let us know what you think of Mac OS in the comment section, and also don't forget to check out our Mac OS Mojave playlist featuring a deeper dive into most of these new features that were mentioned earlier in the video. A link to that playlist can be found in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.